hi everybody welcome back to my channel it's Carol and what I'm going to do today is I have watercolor paper and I am going to use my distress inks and this is what I did on here I these are decorated and they're decorated so much that you really can't see the the paper too much but I used my distressed inks and I just kind of um, mixed them all around and decorated them and this is what I want to do right now and I'm going to put these off to the side now I'm going to do two different ways this is um, watercolor paper but it's a scrap of mine that I had and I did some watercolor paints on here where I was just playing around and what I want to do is use my distressed, distressed inks on here I'm just going to cover this and see how it turns out. I'm really not sure what it's going to be like. And this one here, I'll make two of them. And this one is just plain paper. So we'll see the difference on what this does. And I'm also going to, when you, or when I do this, and then when I wet the paper a little bit, I use water. But I'm going to use uh coffee water and like I said this is just a play so I'm just going to see how it turns out I don't know if, I, if I'll be able to cover this because this is watercolor well it's acrylic paint is this acrylic paint yes I think yeah it looks like yes it's this is acrylic paint and I don't know how much it's going to be covered so I'm just going to get some distressed ink on here and I'm just gonna just gonna put it all around in different areas okay I have pink and blue and what I have here is I have like I have the big containers some of them and then other colors that were in the smaller the smaller um, the smaller little containers here so I want to use these up before I before I get some some larger ones because these are still pretty inky in here so I want, just want to use these up and I don't think this is gonna be it's it doesn't seem to be covering the acrylic paint but I will continue and you know with the different decorations I'll cover it let's see I have orange here so hopefully these colors they should they're gonna blend in real nicely gosh it even looks pretty with these little this was one of my winter plays that I had it was um, trees with cardinals in here branches of trees with cardinals so let's see and then I have I have different brushes and different different inks here so we'll see how it goes Ugh, I don't know if I like this that brown I just put on here this is um, gathered twigs I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on here I'm really liking the uh, these other colors let me give it a little bit more with this orangey color okay let me see I'm gonna I'm gonna put some coffee water on here and I do have my dryer this is a it's it's not that loud and it only takes a few seconds to dry but you know I really haven't worked too much with this so I'm learning right now just playing so we'll see how this goes. 
I'm just gonna blot up these big puddles. Okay, sorry about that, but I did do that off camera because uh, I wasn't sure if... Okay, so you can see if... Uh, you can see the little spots on there from the, the coffee, the coffee water. And what I think I'm going to do is fill in these... This is with the, the pinky... I'm going to bring in some more blue. Oh, I'm liking the uh, the blue on here. I like the way that looks. I think that looks pretty cool. And I'm just, maybe I'll put a little bit more orange because just to bring a little bit more of this this color out okay I'm going to put this off to the side and let this dry a little bit more and then I'm going to bring out this is just a plain so, I'll ink this one up. Yeah, I just wanted to give, give this a, a go with the different inks that I have. And I thought I'd come on camera and do it. So... I, I really didn't do too much play with this before, with the ink, so I'm not too sure how this is going to turn out. Okay, let's see. Now I do have... I have a Victorian velvet. I have a little brush for this. This is really tiny. You know, this color is reminding me of a storm brewing in. Let's see, let me use the orange in here. Oh, my neighbor's dogs are out there making noise, so I hope that's not going to start my little Stella to start talking back to the dogs. I'm really liking the blue. I'm really liking the blue on here. Okay, so let me give this some coffee dye, some coffee spray. And this one I'm going to do a little different. I didn't move the, the coffee around on the paper, but I will this time. And like I said, I, I really don't know how this is going to turn out because I never, I didn't play, I don't play too much with, with the coffee, not the coffee, with, um, oh, looks like I'm taking off the, uh, so let me wet this and I'll be right back or dry it. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So as you can see, I took off most of the color. So I'm just going to add some color back in here and see how this, whoops, how this will turn out. Yeah, 
you know, I've watched other crafters do something similar to this, and mine is just not turning out the same way. But what they do is they they use different things. They use, um, or I've seen it different ways. I've seen it done with the spray inks, which I do have, and I've tried that a couple of times. So I just wanted to give this a try with the, uh, the distressed inks with the p ink pad, not the spray ink. I'm really liking this. I'm liking the way this here has turned out. I hope the colors are, you can see how vibrant they are. I really like the blue. I just want to put a little more blue down there in the bottom. Okay, so, so these are how these two turned out that I just did. This one isn't too bad. I mean, I, I wasn't able to cover the design on there, but I do like these. If you hear some kind of talking in the background, that's my granddaughter. She's over here. Okay, now I do have two other ones that I have done a couple of days ago. Now these here, the first ones that I did, or not a couple, I did these, I don't know, maybe a couple days ago. Anyway, these here, I have them, I think I started off with this size and I cut them in half, but these I will decorate full size instead of cutting them down. So... Okay, what I was thinking with one of them, I wanted to make it kind of botanical because, and I brought out my little, my little, my, he's a tall boy, Tim Holtz fella, and I wanted to make it a little botanical with um, some greenery, like he's in a forest. I don't know. So let's see. I brought out some greenery and mushrooms and I thought somehow I can incorporate this together. Just so I have some kind of an idea how to decorate this. I think I need, I'm gonna put some, I think this calls for some of this darker ink because if it's going to be woodsy and I love the way when you tear the paper like especially this uh, this kind of uh, the watercolor paper so when you fold it and tear it you get this kind of an edge if you can see that and it just I love that look Okay, so let me get some, some brown in here. All right, I think that looks, that looks better. So I thought if I put these little, these are stickers. If I put these down first, and then I do have mushrooms. I love that look, the, the, the greenery with the mushrooms. And then put the fella on top of there. And then I have other things to bring in here. So let's see. Let's bring in, put this down here first. And of course you can lay them down, but these stickers, they have, they kind of have a mind of their own. So you think you're putting them down a certain way, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I 
Okay, so I'm going to put this one down first because I think it'll be better for the eye when you when I put the uh, mushrooms on top of it. Okay, I have it in my head what I want this to look like, but you know, you never know if it's going to turn out that way. Sometimes it turns out better, and sometimes not. Okay, yes, this is looking, looking good to my eye. I love these stickers because they're kind of translucent and you can see through them, like you can see the greenery behind the mushrooms. Okay, and I brought in, I do have, put this under the boy so that it looks like his, because his hand is up, so this way he'll be holding on to the, uh, the word here. Okay, where's my glue stick? Now he'll be over here, I guess, somewhere in that area. Oh, that's looking nice. This may be my favorite one. Well, I think I'm going to use the fabric, the fabric glue for this fella. This is late morning crafting for me, and it's another cold day. Oh, that looks nice. I'm loving this one. And then I brought in some words. inspire so we'll put this right down there under his feet straighten it out as best I can and I do have a number here I don't know if I'll put the number in oh but I do like it let me just ink this up Maybe I'll just put it right up there because I think it looks nice up there. Okay, so put this right there on the top. Okay, he's looking good. And you can see the colors. You can see the colors on the card compared to these here. I made them, you know, I cut the card in half and I think I have a lot of decorations on here where you just have little spots of the of the card. It, I mean, it still looks nice. Okay, so we'll put him off to the side. And, and this here, what am I going to do with this one here? I do have... I do have some of this is tissue paper. It's just so pretty. Tissue paper and napkins. I think it looks so so pretty on on these papers or on envelopes, however you want to use them. Especially this one here. It's so pretty. I just don't know whether I want to put it on the along this side. And 
and what else do I have here? I have, I also have pieces of of my cards. You know how I like to decorate using, oh, this just, that looks pretty. These are cards that I have and I cut, you know, things off there that I really like, like pretty, to me, pretty, pretty parts of it. Okay. All right, I think I'm going to put this down first. And I'm just going to put the glue stick on here because, because tissue paper goes down better that way. And this one here, I'm going to put on here. And then what I think I'll do is I'll just decorate this with butterflies on here because I don't want to cover up too much of the card like I did with the other one. This is the inside of whatever the card was, a greeting card. You know, like I said before, we get so many cards in the mail and the cards and the envelopes are so pretty, but if I'm not going to use them, which I do use some of them, but not all of them. And I'll just, you know, cut them to use them for decorations inside my crafting. Okay, let's see. What did I... I do have all different kind of butterflies. And... Now, I don't know how I would use this. I can use this as... I love this sorry silk. And look, this is just the perfect size. This little strip. So I could put... And that's what I'm going to do. Because it fits. It's just perfect. So I'm going to stick the sorry silk on here first. And see if I can get some butterflies on here. See what I brought out, what I have. Okay, that looks good. Now, let's see. I don't want to... I don't want to put too many butterflies in here. These are kind of big. Here's a, a little blue one. Oh gosh, and it, it's right by the blue there. That looks pretty. Here's one that's... Oh gosh, I do like that. I like these two butterflies on there. Okay, let's see. I have different kind of uh, stickers here. This is a half of a butterfly. And here's a little blue butterfly. Some of these stickers are they're hard to, oh boy, this is going to be a troublesome. Nope. Okay, there we go. Oh, this looks pretty. I'm liking this because you can see the color on there. You can see the color on the card. And I don't know how I'm going to use it. Probably, I don't know, it could be a a pretty large journaling card. I don't know. We'll see. But that's all I have here. Let me bring... Oh, let's see. I have... I could do some kind of decorating on these. Something very similar. So I can use up 
these cards here. Let's see how many I brought out. And these are, this here is a page from, this is a page from um, my botanical book. Okay, I am liking this. So let's see if I. I'll be covering up that one little branch there, but that's okay. Maybe I'll just bring this down a little bit more. like that. Let's see what else I have here. Well, I can use maybe this on that card. So let me just do one card at a time. Put that off to the side. Okay, and you know what I could bring is um, maybe get some music paper or dictionary paper in here. music paper in here and let's see if I what else do I have here maybe I'll just bring in I really love this paper and I think it looks so good on here Just going to bring this down a little bit. Okay, that looks better. Okay. And maybe I could bring in the bigger butterflies. This one here is really, it's really not standing out. butterfly on this one. Let's see if these colors are a little better. I love the butterflies on here. I think they look so pretty, especially on the floral pages or papers, floral decorations.
Not too sure about that butterfly. Let's see. I like the butterflies on there. This one here is just the, the floral page with butterflies on it. And so we'll put this one off to the side. And let's see what we could do with this one here. As you can tell, I really love using these... Um, these images from the cards. Oh, that looks pretty there. I like that. But I don't think I want to bring in music or book pages. I don't know. This was just not big enough. Let's try. I'm just not feeling it with the uh, the book pages. Let me put these off to the side. I don't want to cover up the ink. Okay, so I'll put that off. And I'm going to put this here. See how pretty that these colors are. Okay, let's see what what I have over here. I do have some some little mushrooms and stuff that I could bring in. They are on the, the smaller side. They just don't, I don't know, I don't know about that one. have all these little bits and pieces of scrap. <laughs> See, this is what's going to this is what's going to make me go, cr not go crazy, but it's going to, I'm going to be sitting here saying, oh, maybe this, maybe that. That one's too dark, too dark, too light. Oh, I think I'm liking this. I don't know why. Maybe not. I'm going to go back to this piece here. I like that there. 
think I'm just going to ink around it. Maybe just... No, I don't think I like that. Let's see if I get if I can get some go back to the little butterflies. I'm just digging through through some pieces here. Let's see what's in this bag. There's a pretty butterfly. Or we have to the pretty bird. I am liking that bird. Okay. I think I'm going to put there. I think that's looking good. Sorry about that. That's my little granddaughter. I think she's getting, I think she is feeling a little, I don't know. I think she's getting a little bored. She's over here playing on her Kindle while I'm doing my crafting here. Okay, I see it in my head. This is a nicer side. I see it in my head. Let's see if it comes out that way. We'll glue this down. Okay. So here is a flower in a letter. There's no letter, but there is a flower. And then I could put this over here. Let's see if I can move this over a little bit. It's moving a little bit. Okay, that's going good. The dogs are outside and <coughs> sorry about that. I have to um, put the camera on pause because the dogs across the street were barking up a storm and Stella started. So I have to, you know, tend to that. But anyway, I, I just glued these down and look at how pretty that looks. I'm really pleased with this. So let me bring all these cards in here. And yeah, I'm really glad that I did this. I know there's more. These are the two that I made. And I know I have another one around here. And I don't know where. It... Oh, here it is. It's my little, the little boy. Okay, so there you go. This was fun, and um, I'm really glad I I decided to do this. This was a lot of fun playing with these colors, and I'm going to be doing more of it. I think it just turned out gorgeous, and um, thank you so much for coming along and joining me, and you have a good rest of the day, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.